Mikey, how you doing? Good morning, everyone. Today is a not a beautiful day. Mickey just woke up from her morning sleep. We're gonna be focusing on potty training. I've been getting a lot of requests regarding potty training and what to do. Uh, potty training is, of course, something that every pet parent has to deal with. Um, how to housebreak them is too is a very important in uh, potty training. How to keep them calm in the crate is something that's been an issue for many pet parents. Crate training is uh, very important. Mickey loves her crate. She loves uh, being in there. She never whines, she never whimps, she never cries, she never barks. She loves her crate. She's very comfortable knowing that she's right next to mommy and daddy. How you doing, baby? Doing good? Notice that the key. Crate door's open. How you doing, Mickey? Huh? Mickey, ready to go potty? So you guys make sure that you guys have a magic word to go potty. Whatever the magic word is you use to command to go potty. We don't use the word potty. Uh, potty is, where, of course, the most common word to get them to go. Uh, we use the word boo-boo. Boo-boo is our word of choice. Where did boo-boo come from? I just learned, I was, I just learned it from my, my uncle. But boo-boo is our word of choice to command them to go potty. So, Mickey, yo, why don't you want to come out to the crate? Look at her, she's so well behaved. She's so well behaved. She doesn't want really to come out. She's such a good girl. Mickey, you ready to go outside? You ready to come outside? Let's go, come on, Mickey. Look at that. Just like that. Come in and go. There you go, Mickey. Straight forward. Keep going. Mickey, boo boo, go boo boo, boo boo, go, boo boo. Now she's going straight to the boo boo center. Boo boo, boo boo, boo boo. Here we go. Yeah, hey, baby. Mickey. There you go. Made her first spot. Mickey, good job. Every single time that you get her to pee or potty or poop a water. Mickey. Here you go. Give her a reward. Treat is your best friend. Crunchy biscuits, beef formula, uh, no fillers. Real beef ingredients. I use her this now for treats now. This is a great new treat. I, the old one we use was the natural balance as well too. This was uh, sweet potato and fish. But I'm using this one now. Mickey knows this good. She knows very well that this is the good stuff, right Mickey? You want some beef? Yeah, hey, Mickey. Beef. There you go. Carries it to the. Carries it over there. She eats it. He has her way of eating. Doesn't matter if she eats over there or here, as long as you reward her every single time that you take her go potty. That's what is the most important step. Reward her every single time that she goes potty. Don't miss. Don't miss a single break. If she pauses, if she potties twenty times a day as a puppy. Give her the treat. Take one treat, break it into many pieces, and reward her. Maybe she'll eat right there on the spot. Maybe she'll eat at her favorite location. But we reward her. Now, another important step with potty training is using a crate. So, a crate training will actually be blocked with your potty training. If you notice that this model right here, this is a bigger model crate that we use for Mickey. Mickey, unfortunately, don't even use this crate no more because Mickey's housebroken. 
So, I mean, she goes in here time to time, but she barely go, goes into this crate no more. This is a, this is a uh, Midwest model, Midwest Home for Pets, model 22405. Its uh, size is around 24 by length, 36 by 30 in height. Basically, what I love about this crate, if you know underneath here, there is a little attachment. So if you notice that there's a little tray underneath this crate right here, let me slide right out. It's a pee pad. So you insert the pee pad underneath for this tray. This thing comes in and out easily. So it's replaceable pee pad. Your puppy is not gonna be touching the pee pad, but you'll see the pee pad. The pee, the urine, if she decides to go inside the pee pad, it just goes straight down here. And it's a lot easier to clean. It's a lot more safer, safer for her at the very same time. So this is a very important feature in this crate. It's a great crate, very great. And of course with this thing here, uh, this is this uh, piece right here is adjustable where that the step level is at. So I mean, you can place that step level to on top of here if you want, or on top of here if you want. So you can replace a different height if you need. Uh, but you know, what's best for your needs? Mickey, fortunately, don't even use this crate no more. She's done with the crate. Of course, you have to have a good amount of space when you're crate training. Remember that puppies do not like to pee on their sleeping area. If this is the sleeping area, you are completely blocking it off. She won't pee on her bed. They don't like to pee on the bed. They don't like to poop on the bed. So that gives them this amount of space. That's all she's getting. She knows that to pee and poop, this is the only area she can do. That's why when she sees the white pee pads, that are already sends her a signal that this spot is okay to pee and poop. A large crate, it's very substantial. It's very important. When you're starting off pee, uh, crate training, potty training, use a bigger crate. Don't get one of those jam-packed crates. If you're starting off with a puppy between eight to 12 weeks old, eight to 16 weeks old, you want to limit her space. That's very important. The more space you give her, the less chance she'll learn. And I'll tell you why. So we, this is the reason, main reason why we installed a puppy gate. Puppy gate is very important because that limit her space when walking over there to reach that puppy pad inside that room or her going to this space right here because her puppy pad is on that corner. Why is it important to limit space? Her puppy's bladder is literally that much. They don't have time to hold it. When they have to go, they have to go. If she's here and she needs to walk all the way over there to go pee, she won't make it because her bladder is this small. She needs to go, she needs to go. That's why limit spacing is important. You close the gate. What chance does she has to make it down there when the closer one is over there? So she has to go. She was probably gonna make her mark all the way over here, straight down there, fast as possible. Friend, if I had a choice, I would probably even limit her spacing even more. Starting, meaning I, put, I probably would put a gate right here, and I probably would have put another gate right here. So her whole play area is this kitchen area and that's all that's all she gets so if you cannot monitor her and you, you want to make sure she goes potty that's what you have to do limit her spacing uh, Mickey of course between eight weeks old to 16 weeks old trust me she had a lot of accidents the accidents wasn't because um, oops uh, she peed in the wrong spot because that's her choice she peed because she couldn't make it she couldn't make it to the pee area. It was too far a walk over there. If she's over there, she gets confused. Maybe she, she's over there. She wanted to walk all the way over here. 
to go pee and she couldn't make it. So limit, limit her spacing, that's very important. For me, this is very important. Give your dog two pee areas, two spots to pee. The one's in the living room, one's inside the bedroom. If Mickey is here and she's playing this area, if she can't make it to that one, she go to this one. If she's over there, she can't make it to over here, she go to the other one. Give her two options instead of one. If you give her one option, more likely she's gonna have an accident because she can't make it in time. Remember that her bladder is this small. Another step, rugs, towels. If you have rugs, you have towels on the floor. As a puppy, from eight to 12 weeks old, eight to 16 weeks old, remove the rugs, remove the towels, everything you need is on the floor. Don't let your puppy confuse the rugs and towels. That's gonna be your pee pads. Mickey started off, there was a lot of accidents here. Mickey, what are you doing? There was a lot of accidents here. She was, she had a few accidents here. She had accidents here before. She did pee before here. Uh, we had to clean it off. Uh, what we did, we removed the rug completely. The rug was completely gone. What happened? She stopped peeing here. She stopped peeing here. In that spots, anything that has kind of uh, resembles a pee pad, remove that. That will force her to go and pee somewhere else. <laughs> if you can see, there's a rug carpet right here on top of the crate. This rug used to be all the way up here. Mickey would walk all the way over here and pee in that little area of the rug. We noticed the trend that she was doing. So what we did? We moved the rug in. What happened? She stopped. She started going back over there. So removing rugs will help. If you have carpet, um, like I said, that's something that's really unavoidable. If you have carpet, the best thing you can do right now is uh, limit spacing. Hopefully that limit spacing will help with the uh, transition from peeing on the carpet to peeing on her pee pad. Limit her spacing as much as possible. Make you go boo boo. Go boo boo. Mickey's about to poop. When she turns like that, she's pooping. There she go. She, she's pooping. Boo boo. And she's just gonna keep repeating the words. Boo boo. Boo boo. Boo boo. Whatever your, word, your magic word is, just keep saying it. Boo boo. So it's party. Party. Go party. And she's done. There she goes, Mickey. Good job, Mickey. Good job. Remember, guys, consistency is key. Repetition is key. Keep repeating the steps. Keep uh, mentioning the word potty or your magic word. Do it every single time. Reward your puppy every single time. Shih Tzus are known to be a very stubborn breed. So it's very important that you have tons of patience. Be patient, be patient. They're very stubborn. They might not get it the first time, or the tenth time, or the fifteenth time. But just keep doing it because they need your your love and care as much as possible. And it might be tough to potty train them. You might not. You might have a few nights of not sleeping. But uh, hopefully this video will help others. That's my tips and ideas of how to potty train your puppy. So uh, hope you guys uh, hope this works out. And uh, see you guys next time. Mickey, what are you doing? What are you doing?